Hello everybody, um, welcome to a, another webinar. Um, last week we had a webinar on teaching pedagogy and this week I thought we'd have a look at a, a teaching material you can make at home. Parents, um, teachers can make this at home very simply, very cheaply. And the effect of it is, uh, is huge, a huge benefit to uh, students or your children at home and enabling them to increase their sight words um, spelling, but also more importantly than that, this is to do with the phonemes and letter blends. Um, for those people who don't know out there, the sh, the u, th, ch, and all of those sounds enable our children to have fluency in their reading. Um, this will enable them to build that confidence in that area. Now, just to make clear what you need here to make this, um, the first thing you need is just some simple wooden pegs. These are the ones that you might put outside on the washing line. Uh, you need about uh, 70 of those. Um, the second thing you'll need is uh, alphabet stickers. Uh, very cheap to buy and easy to pick up. These cost me a dollar. I picked them up this afternoon. You need a wooden box to put your pegs in. And you will need a Sharpie. Where did I put the Sharpie? Never mind. The Sharpie's somewhere else. Um, now, also as an addition, if you're feeling that you might want to go one step further, I've got some little models here to just make it more engaging for children. Uh, this is the dog, obviously, and this is the cat. And we'll start with the cat. So the way it would work is I'd have a box uh, to one side, and I would handpick a selection of these small toys, thinking about the names of them as I'm doing so. Cat, obviously, a three-letter word, a CVC word, very simple word to sound out, and very simple word to read. Probably one of the first words children will ever learn is cat, C-A-T, obviously. So the child will pick out the, uh, the animal or the object, pop it in front of them, and their objective then is to delve inside the box and find the letters. Now, obviously, um, I will just show you how to make one, take off the sticker, and there is simply, this is placed on the peg, just like so, and then your, your letter is added to the box here like this. Uh, now I have all the alphabet here, so we'll start with cat. Now, if you have a look very closely on the side of the box, I have some black dots here. Those black dots represent places where I would like the letters to go. So the, the word we're going to spell is cat. And obviously we know that cat is made up of C-A-T. And I can place this here. The C sits just like this. The A on the next black dot, just here. And finally, the T is going to go, if I can just get it on there, here. C, A, T, cat. My cat is here like so. Once the child has spelled it correctly, no problem. We can take these off and they can go back inside the box. Now, as the children get better at this and their words start to become larger and their knowledge of the phonemes or phonetic alphabet is bigger, we can then ask them to express themselves in more clarity and more detail. So here we have a dog. Let's pretend, although I know it's not one, let's pretend it's a poodle. And uh, I really want my children to focus, or my child to focus, on the oo sound. Oo being a double O. Um, uh, one of the most simplest phonemes that children will learn, but nevertheless, it's one that we have to practice. Um, so what I can do, and this is where the, the dots come in really handy, is I want, my child is going to see this and say, that's a poodle, I'm going to spell the word poodle. But what I could do, uh, as the, the adult in charge of this, is what I could do is I could actually place some letters on, like so. So here's my P. I leave the uh, double, o, um, double O empty, and I will do this. And then, sorry, my E needs to go here, like this. So I might build up some of the word already, like so, and then ask my child, um, little Tommy, can you finish off the word, please? And the child will say, that's the poodle. I remember taking that out of the box. And he will then know that the phoneme or the letter blend is a double O for poodle. And it will look something like this. And there are many ways you can do this. You can play guess the word, guess the animal. You can put two letters in. Um, and ultimately, it makes uh, spelling a little bit more fun. Um, and a little bit more interactive, searching for the word um, and looking for the pegs. You can also use this on a washing line if you like, but ultimately a very simple resource to make. This literally cost me $7 to buy everything. 
and I can use this for an infinite amount of time. Uh, so I uh, want to share that with you and hopefully that's something you want to take forward. And then uh, you can see little poodle here um, and he's spelled next door. So, okay, thank you very much for listening and I hope that this is something that you're going to make. Thank you, bye.